Welcome everyone to the official chapter five season two trailer. I'm so excited. Ooh, oh my goodness. What's in the water? Fish sticks. Whoa. We got wings. We got a huge new mythic POI. Oh my gosh. Flying around the map. And here are the gods. We got Zeus Medusa! Mythics! Myths and mortals! Let's see what's in store for us. New POI. Aphrodite with her wings. Woo! So we can fly around the map. Who else have we got? Oh my goodness. Dude, look at all the mythic chain attack! Nah. Shooting people out the air with Medusa with giant snake? Cerberus with his own mythic shotgun. Artemis. Oh, she's got um, a scope on her AR. Oh my goodness. This season looks like Cora. Avatar. Let's go. Poseidon is giant squish man. Zeus. Wow, are you kidding me? This is nuts. You can throw lightning bolts. Oh, new scope. That was sick. And we can, of course, pick up the mythics as well. That is crazy. Guys, let's take a close look at everything we've just seen there. So if we take a look, we can see that the first boss and the first mythic that will be available is Zeus himself with a thunderbolt. Become the storm of your own with Zeus's thunderbolt. You can rise in the air and hurl lightning bolts at the targets. Use his power wisely, though, as a... Uh, Thunderbolts have three maximum charges with a cooldown between each one. That is so cool. So we can pick up this mythic power across the island or by defeating Zeus. And not exclusively from defeating Zeus, we can get it elsewhere, which is really cool. And the mythics continue. The Gatekeeper Shotgun. This is from Cerberus himself. This shotgun fires three aggressive rounds. It's best at short range. Obviously, it's a shotgun. And it, it's very powerful. When you're done, prepare for your next target with a full magazine reload. So you've got to reload all three shots. The shotgun could also be found across the island, but the mythic variant is only from Cerberus. So this is a brand new shotgun all over the island. So that'll be one that we're going to be using throughout the season. The Harbringer SMG. This is also available for taking down Hades himself. Uh, highly accurate first shot. Dramatically increased recoil. And Bloom is more fire, uh, more or dramatically worse recoil as more bullets are fired. But it doesn't stop as you can get this version across the map and the mythic version from Hades himself. Then we've got the Huntress DMR. Ooh, I like DMRs. If they're accurate and strong, it's worth it. You can take down Artemis, obviously, to get this one. And you can find it all over the island. But we can see you can flip the script using the Huntress DMR to punish the gods. You can hunt for it across the island with the mythic version from taking down Zeus. Ooh, interesting. Warforged Assault Rifle is a brand new assault rifle. This one is also the favorite of Ares. Powerful, high damage, high fire rate, str but strong recoil. Okay, so that's going to be our new go-to assault rifle. And then, one of the abilities we also saw on the island was the ability to fly. Now, pay attention here. These are the wings of Icarus. You can soar through the skies and dive bomb onto your foes below. But beware, fly too long and your wings will burn up. So you do not want to fly for too long, as that could happen. And taking too much damage will also cause you just to fall out the air. You can find this mythic across the island as well. This is going to be our new way to get around the map, guys. Mods are back, which I'm incredibly excited to say. And even more mods, we've got the Thermal Scope. The Speed Grip Weapon Mod. Very interested to try these out. Um, you can attach to the Thermal Scope to any scoped weapons to get that vision that we saw in the trailer. Um, and it also doubles up. So you can toggle between having it on and off. With the Speed Grip Mod, your movement speed whilst aiming will increase. So, like, um, strafing from left to right will be really, really powerful. You can find mob benches, but this time the benches are in new weapon bunkers. These bunkers are, uh, will be unchained and unlocked in the middle of matches. Ooh, when they become ready to raid. Ooh, interesting. So many new myths. This is the key art for the season. 
You can see all of the Olympian, all of the Olympic characters that are in there. But one big thing to note is with ranked. When it comes to ranked, they have tweaked the progression in the upper ranks to make it harder and more rewarding to reach unreal rank people. That's not all, though. You may have noticed Korra. If you've ever seen The Legend of the Avatar, that means that we're going to be getting a huge Avatar collaboration this season. And you can even waterbend. Are you kidding me? But if we go back to the trailer and watch it again, from the point in which we see all of the um, characters flying in with the wings, the new POI, we can get a better look at some of the locations as well and actually see everything that we've just talked about in action. So as we fly into the map, this is one of the huge new Olympus POIs. Huge airy statues in the background here as well. And we get to see all the characters that we featured in the battle pass. If you're picking up the battle pass, the best thing you can do is to pop code Alia in, as you can see in the bottom left. Just takes a second and massively, massively helps me. As Zeus lightning bolts in. All of these skins will have multiple variants as well with different colors, different styles, different forms. And we can see some of the weapons in action here with the Cerberus shotgun, new assault rifle, the science pistol, the mythic chain available there as well in the trailer, which we grab onto people. Zeus picks up his Thunderbolt. I wonder what happens if you manage to pick up all of the different mythics in one go. Maybe you get some crazy powers. Aphrodite coming in here. The wings available again all over the map. Not just specifically from taking down one uh, boss on the islands. We fly on in. Bam. We can attack with it as well. This one looks to be the craziest. I think it'll be hard to use, but super rewarding if you know what you're doing. If you swing that giant chain around, you can use it to pull people in and then smash them with it. Obviously, getting people close to you if they're holding a shotgun is sometimes not the best thing in the world. But if you can use this properly, it can be a great way to pull people back if they're trying to run away from you. Medusa. Got this giant metal snake here. Now, not seen anything about this as to whether or not it'll actually be something you can use in-game. I think it's an emote by the looks of it. And the Cerberus shotgun coming in here. Look at it. It's got like a three split like little cross eggs. It's firing three bullets at once. I think it's going to be so powerful. And we can see the new DMR in action here, guys, as well with the scope on it, which is absolutely awesome. And the sliding is back. This whole area looks really dark and spooky and crazy. Like it's going to be a huge map change. Now, this is a legend of Korra. The big collaboration. It's already been leaked that this will go beyond just her and to even more Avatar characters later on in the season. This is just the start. But being able to waterbend. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm literally watching the live action uh, show at the moment. I'm so excited for that. Poseidon is a giant slurp version of Poseidon, which is absolutely amazing. We see some... Um, uh, Fortnite Music Festival items in there as well. Zeus with his lightning bolts. We get to see these in action here. So this is us flying in the air, shooting them down, which now makes more sense after reading the blog post as to how they exactly happen. Looks like you can hold it to like charge it up before you fire it to deal more damage. But obviously then you are super susceptible to being shot. This is the new thermal scope. <laughs> I, I'm not sure what I think of it. Like I'm not sure if it'll have a little bit too much recoil or how useful it will be. But this is it in action, and it's great that we can swap between having thermal on and off. I think that's going to make it super, super useful. And this is us using the mythics ourselves. Guys, it is going to be crazy. Pop code Alia in. I'll be buying the whole battle pass as soon as it goes live in just a few minutes. So make sure you subscribe. This season's going to be crazy.